the P of the Nordic Kingdom. You see? But our true king is Yahweh Shai and then King David. But anyway, I'm going to read this though. It says, Hosea chapter 1. Verse 9. Then said the Most High, Call his name lo Ami, for ye are not my people, and I will not be your power. So there was a falling away. The Most High cast off Israel. Because we were being wicked, man. Alright? Yet the number of children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And shall come to pass, that in the place where it was said unto them, mainly America, known as niggas, spicks, Negroes, Afro-Americans, African-Americans. Those are bywords, man. What the hell is that, man? And you have the, the conscious Negroes who say that they're Africans. You're just as bugged out, man. That's a white man's surname. And you take it even further, that's a colonial name, man. The Brits called it Africa, man. How can you take one word and call the whole continent that, man? That land was known as the land as Ham or Ham. The Hamites dwelt in that land. The land takes on the name of the people, man. That's when we went into the land of Canaan. It was called the land of Canaan because the Canaanites dwelt there. Until we uprooted their ass out. Okay? And it, the, the land took on our name, the land of Israel. Of Yasharala, man. So no, we ain't no African, man. Read on, it says... Yet, the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured, nor numbered, and shall come to pass in a place which was said unto them, Ye are not my people. There it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power, man. Yasharala, man. We are the sons of the princes of the Most High, man. There's power in that, man. There's power in your nationality, man. Because that's who we are, man. We're taking our nationality back, man. We're taking everything back, man. With interest, man. Okay? It, including you heathens. Because you won't have chains on your neck in the world to come, man. Alright? The whole world belongs to us, man. So you Edomites, man, you're guilty, man. On all charges, man. You see? You're being exposed right now, but it's going to get physical, man. The Lord going to raise us up with all these plagues and pestilences. That he's going to use to destroy America, man, and other parts of the world. And the final plague going to be nuclear destruction with Yahweh Shai and the chariots. And that's another thing that's popping up more and more, these chariots, man. And you start putting a spin on it, talking about Area 51. No Area 51, man. Okay? Those are the angels, man. And they're scared as hell, man. And those are our brethren. See? They go in and out of the earth. And they're about to make their grand entrance where Yahweh Shai, man. And you heathens that die on this side, you're going to come back in captivity. All right? That's a beautiful thing, man. So ain't no escaping. All right? No escape. Matter of fact, since I talked about chariots, that shit on my body. Since I'm talking about chariots, let me get, let me read some precepts, man. Because that's one thing that's popping up a lot more often, man. Is these chariot sightings, man. And they scared as hell, man. That's Israel deliverance right there. That's what our people were singing about in captivity. Swing low, swing chariot. Coming forth to carry me home, man. All right? That was spiritual, man. Zechariah chapter 5, verse 1. And then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked. Behold, a flying robe. Let me read it again. Zechariah chapter 5, verse 1. Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked. Behold, a flying robe, man. The UFOs, man. Zechariah saw it, man. Okay? He witnessed it. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I said, 
I answered, I see a fly roll, and the left thereof are twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof ten cubits. Then he said unto me, This is the cur curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For every one that steal it shall be cut off on this side according to it, and every one that swear it shall be cut off on that side according to it. Okay? That's why the scripture says, by lying swearing. Oh no, let me get that. Let's get it, man. Really, it's Hosea 4 and 1. Hosea 4 and 1. Alright, this goes into Esau, man. Yeah, it happened back then, but it's mainly going into right now, man. Because the modern day Assyrian is Esau, man. Hosea 4 and 1. Alright? This happened back then when you look at it historically because the Israelites were going off. But it's also being applied today. You see? Hear the word of Yahweh Shemel Shah, ye children of Israel. For the Most High have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Because there's no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of the Heavenly Father in the land. Well, that's obvious, right? That's pretty obvious. That's just especially now, man. People are being conditioned to accept this homosexuality, man. They're being conditioned, man. And now they're teaching kids that in school, man. That it's okay. And everybody's scared to speak up, not us, man. See, we're a watchman that's not going to hold our peace, man. And this is why YouTube doing what they're doing. They're on a crusade, pulling videos down and giving strikes and all this other BS warnings. We don't give a shit, man. Okay? Okay, because the word has already went out, man. Okay, the word is already being, being published, man. Globally. So whether you pull down the channel, that's not going to stop the word of the Lord, man. And above all, prophecy is happening. Because a part of the prophecy is the famine of the word. And that's mainly to punish you two-thirds. Because y'all been bullshitting, man. Israel been bullshitting, man. Okay? Y'all had all this time to get right, man. Enough time to get right, man. Enough time to seek the Heavenly Father. Enough time to rehearse the righteous acts. Enough time to learn the prophecies. Okay? Just the basics of this truth, man. And they fan the hand. So the most I said in the book of Zechariah, the seventh chapter, when you and your children are starving to death or getting killed in these concentration camps, he gonna fan the hand at you as well. Okay? Let me read on. It says, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, man. Okay, you can't tell me that's not a miracle, man. Number one, they swear in the Bible. Lying, okay, Esau the white man is a liar, man, by nature, okay. Push nothing but lies and deceit, man. Starting with the Lord's image and then the rest of history, man. Now he's pushing what? This AI technology, man. And the scripture says, by what? By killing and stealing. How did they get America? What's the original sin? Stealing this land from the Native American Indians. See, in times past, when other empires took over other lands, in some cases they took the land, but a lot of cases they made that those people tributaries. Meaning you can keep your land and you can keep your customs, but you have to give us tribute. You see? Esau just took the entire continent and put you on reservations. They had a, a whole other group of people build it up for free, man. You move, remove people off their landmarks. That's against the scriptures, man. All right? And committed adultery, all right? Which adultery is promoted here. Also goes into what? Spiritual adultery, the worship of other gods, man. Idolatry. <laughs> They break out and blood touches blood. Therefore shall the land mourn, when, especially when the Most High plagued this place, which he's already in. He's already plaguing this place, man. Read Matthew the 24th, Luke the 21st chapter, man. Jake gonna get put to death, man. Jake playing games with Yahweh Shemel Shah. Most High gonna kill a lot of you niggas, man. 
the whole kind of sodomites walking up and down, man. Our people are just wicked, man. All right? Yo, Jake is gone, man. Jake is just wild, man. See? And that's what happens when you only meet the devil for a long period of time. You take on his nature. That's why the scripture says, let me go to the book of Jeremiah, the fifth chapter. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 27. All these Jakes are into sodomy, man. Oh, man. A lot of these Jakes, man. Read Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 27. It says, Twenty-six. For among my people are found wicked men, and they lay wait, and they set a snares, they set a trap and catch men. All right, drug dealers. All right, these gang bangers, niggas in the prison system. You see, they prey on the weak, man. Because a lot of our people don't grow up with these quote-unquote fathers, because Eve sold out. She took the benefits for the blessings of Esau kick the man out. So what? There's chaos in the home, man. And you got these wicked ass niggas. They prey on that, man. See, and it's also going to these false leaders as well. You read on, it says, as a cave full of birds, so are they houses full of deceit. Therefore, they, they become great and wax and rich. Right? Especially these preachers, man. Hell, even that demon Al Sharpton, I mean, Trump called out Al Sharpton and these other fake black leaders, man. All right? And he was right on that. All the money that you guys get, you ain't helping your people, man. So people voted for you assholes, man. For you to do something. All right? But you guys embezzle money. You take all that money from the state and the city and you use it on yourself, man. All right? You guys think being called out. See? Read on. So like I said, man. Yabashim Yalsha. Raising up his elect. See? Matter of fact, let me get that. The scripture I was trying to think of. Because uh, since this whole year we've been reporting and YouTube have said that they're going to start, well they've been said it and we've been brought the video out, that they said that they said it, that they were going to pull more videos, they were going to pull it, alright, not only copyright videos, but videos that start speaking out, okay, videos that they claim to deem anti-Semitism, alright, so that's not even a, the appropriate word. Okay? And other videos that they deem to be conspiracy. Okay? Especially when you go in on these false flag shootings. They cut that overnight, man. See? Because why? Through that platform, people have done a lot of damage with that information, man. They think that information would spread like that. But it has, man. And that's all the bidding of the How About Shemiel Shah, man. Most I control all that. Matter of fact, let me read Second Chronicles. Most I told that to a famous king in Israel. Let me see. Most I rebuked a uh, king in Israel, man, for not trusting in him, man, because he controls everything, including this devil. We say Chronicles chapter 16, verse, let me start verse 7. Let's start from 6. Then Asa the king took Judah, and they cut away the stones of Ramah, and the timber thereof, where Baash was building, and he built there with Eba and Mishpah. And at that time, Hananiah the seer, or the prophet, came to Asa king of Judah, and said unto him, 
because thou has relied on the king of Syria and not relied on the Lord thy power. Therefore is the host of king of Syria escaped out of thy hand, man. You see? So not having faith is a sin, man. Okay? Mosai controls everything, man. Mosai said, you're supposed to rely on me, man. Read on, it says, Were not the Ethiopians and the Lubans a huge host with very merry chariots and horsemen? Yet because thou didst rely on Yahweh Shemelshah, he delivered them into thine hand, man. So Esau ain't controlling nothing, man. Okay? The most high control is this battle, man. This spiritual battle, man. That's why we don't fret like much as we used to, man. Because we know it's in, it's in the hands of the Lord, man. So you saw what you saw when it shut things down, that's really Yahweh Shah pulling the plug. That's a sign or a heads up for us, man. That the gates of mercy is what? Is closing, man. <laughs> for the eyes of Yahweh Shah run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. And that's what we're doing right now. We're trying to be perfect. Like Yahweh Shai told us to be perfect, man. And what? In faith, man. And your works as well. Because your works show your faith. Like James said. Well, let me check on it. See? Let me see if let me see if Judas Maccabee says something like that, man. This battle belongs to Yahweh Shah, so you no, know, this is a spiritual battle. This is a uh, a chess match. But these devils, you're gonna lose, man. Matter of fact, since I'm going in on this history, I'm gonna go into a little history. Let's go into some history, man. the wrong chapter. That's what Judas Maccabee said. I'm going to go into some history. He said the most size and control everything, man. First Maccabees, that's why Yahweh Shai said, don't fear those that can kill the body, man. Fear him that can kill both soul and body. You gotta fear him, man. Fear the angels, fear Yahweh, man. Alright? So who's man on earth? You read first Maccabees chapter 3. First Maccabees chapter 3. Verse. Let me see. This is uh, Apollo Neus, okay? This is when the Greeks uh, uh, was attacking us at that time and the Maccabees had to raise up. This is where Hanukkah comes from. And the peace in the canyon, all right? This is underneath the orders of uh, uh, Antiochus Epiphanes, man, who was bro the brother of Seleucus IV. He sent one of his generals out, or his commanders, Apollo, Apollo Lanios, gathered the Gentiles together and a great host out of Samaria to fight against Israel. Which thing, when Judas received, he went forth to meet him, so he smote him and slew him, and many also fell slain, but the rest fled. No, this is Siron. So he slew Apollo Neos, but Siron was up. Now when Saron, a prince of the army of Syria, heard say that Judas had gathered unto him a multitude and company of faithful to go out to war with him, he said, I will get me a name and honor in the kingdom, for I will go fight with Judas and them that are with him who despise the king's commandment. 
So he made him ready to go, and there went with him a mighty host of the ungodly to help him, and to be avenged of the children of Israel. Okay, this is sad right now. Okay, let's read on. And when he came near to going up a Bethron, Judas went forth to meet him with a small company. But when they saw the host coming to meet him, said unto Judas, How shall we be able, being so few, to fight against such a great multitude and so strong? See, we are ready to faint with fasting all this day. Yeah, because they were fasting. Man. All right? Unto whom Judas answered, It is no hard manner for many to be shut up in the hands of a few. And with the God of heaven, it is all one to deliver with a great multitude of a small company. The house of David is a small company, man. All right? For the victory of battle standeth not in the multitude of a host, but strength cometh from heaven, man. Okay? And this is what these Edomites understand. It's not a physical battle, man. It's spiritual, man. And through us spiritually prophesying is bringing down this kingdom, man. The most high is moving off our vibration. The more brothers wake up, there's a faster the kingdom go down. Because he got the Allah I am, the angels, working on the rulers of this earth mind. And you all are being led into perdition. And I'm going to get another precept on that. Let me drink some water real quick. Right out here. In fact, let me see if I get a uh, another historical. It's all history, man. That's why the elders also say, man, you got to be a student of history. Because the Bible is a history book. It's not just a book of laws, a book of prophecy. It's history, man. Deep history, man. Because all the major empires is talked about, man. The Egyptians is talked about. The Assyrians is talked about. The Babylonians is talked about. The Persians and the Medes is mentioned. The Greeks just read about it, the Romans in the New Testament, okay, and then you had other minor rulers here and there, man, like, uh, uh what's this guy named, uh, Neku, the second of the Egyptians, man, who also played a, a who killed Josiah, who was a righteous king, you see? Then we just talked about the other day that any of Volcab alone um, mentioned Herod in Acts the 26, 26, 26 chapter, like Paul was trying to save him, man. Paul was using wisdom. But the Herod, they were what? Herod Agrippa, Herod the Antipate, Antipas. They were what? They were Edomites, man. Who were passing off as Israelites. You see? Edomite sitting on the throne and John the Baptist first they asked out because he was committing adultery you see he took his brother's wife which I think was his niece that whole family was messed up man but that's what history man anyway let me read this let me see if I find this Chronicle, I think it's the Chronicles 19. Second Chronicles 19. This was going into Josephat. I don't, I don't want to read the whole thing. There we go. Second Chronicles 20. And it came to pass that also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon, which are the Chinese examples today, 
with them other beside the Ammonites came against Jehoshaphat, which was a righteous king at that time, to battle. Then came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, There cometh a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea of the side of Syria. Behold, there be in Hazedonia, which is in Angidi. And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek Yahabashim Yahushah to proclaim a fast throughout all Judah. And that's what we tell you brothers to fast and pray. Why aren't the Chinese here? The Chinese? You just mentioned them. No, no, no. Well, we used to have the Table of Nations. Right. But we we dealing with what? The Israelites. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you did just mention the Chinese. Just in, just in yeah, the Moabites and the Ammonites. Moabites. Yes. Yeah. Where do they fall in, in the, the timeline of the 12 tribes? Well, Pretty much at the same time. I mean, right, right. I mean, just raise some questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we are here to put salvation to the well, Israelites. Yeah. Wait. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I know that's true. Yeah, yeah. But we used to, I used to have that sign, like the Israelites here, and behind it, the table of nations. The other 17 nations. Because that's what the Heavenly Father deals with. He deals with nations. See? Every nation goes back to a progenitor or a man. May Allah continue to reward you. It says, uh, it says, uh, let me read on. It says, this guy fucked up. I didn't even answer that. The script says, answer not a fool according to the Father. You're talking about may Allah. You just seen the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, man. Jake is just gone, man. All right? Jake is just gone, man. See? We don't got time to waste on dudes like that. Keep believing in Allah. Right? Keep believing in it, man. Allah is just a rock in Mecca. That's all he is. That's it. The moon god Allah and his three daughters. All right? That whole Islam is BS. Okay? That's why Esau dropping bombs on him and they praying to this Allah and he can't do nothing. Man. And again, they all took him right before their eyes. And they're becoming more and more westernized. Man. Give me a break, man. It says, And Joseph had feared and set himself to seek Yahweh Hashim Yahushua, which was the right thing to do, man. Unlike that other king. Salam Aleikum. You know what I'm saying? This guy's just crazy, man. See? They fucked out, man. With this, uh, this, uh, Islam shit. Hey, how you doing? Huh? It says, um, Jake bugged out, man. And you should know, first of all, you should tell that we're now Muslims because we have the fringes and a border of blue. They don't have that on their garments. See? But oh well. Let me read on. It says... Anyway, let's read. And Judah gathered themselves together to ask him of Yahweh Hashim Yahushua and proclaim a fast throughout all Judah. And Judah gathered themselves to ask of help of Yahweh Hashim Yahushua. Even out of the cities of Judah, they came to seek Yahweh Hashim Yahushua. And Joseph had stood in the congregation of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of Yahweh Hashim Yahushua before the new court. It's a good prayer. And said, O Yahweh Hashim Yahushua, of our fathers, art thou not power in heaven? 